Hey guys, we are back with another video. It's been ages. Today we're looking at mechanical watches and the variety. So let's start off with vintage. You can get yourself some really nice ones. What I like about vintage is when you look at it on your wrist, you just think, what, how long has this been around? Who's had this and like, what did they do? It's just really good to think about. They, they're so historical. I mean, <laughs> Especially when it says Edna to Fred on the back of it. There's no love in that at all. Anyone know Edna and Fred? So, in general, you can just think about the history of it. It's quite fascinating. And especially the th when it's one like this from the 1960s, it's been ticking for decades. It's absolutely amazing. This one in particular is an Avia Olympic gold. My grand found this like in a drawer and didn't really like it so I have it now it's pretty nice so yeah it's man's by the way it's not a granny's one <laughs> I've just been researched this one is a brightling it could be a fake but I'm not really sure I did a video about this this guy here said that that he's pretty sure it's fake and I agree because there's not really many signs of it being real there is there it would say Brightling on there. The balance wheel isn't as uh, fluent either. As you can see, it, if you look really close, it kind of jerks a bit more. But it's a nice watch, though. The glass is brilliant. A lot better than this, as what in particular on this. This is a Seiko 5. This w this is really really good value for money. If you haven't, heard, you've definitely heard of this somewhere. The balance wheels there. You can see in the back of it both both of these ones are open back. It's got a lovely movement in the back of there. With that, by far the most accurate, but not really my favourite. That would be this. I'll explain that soon. If I had to put them in order of my favourite, that one would be back. That one would be the middle, and that one would be here. Because that hasn't just... It's a brilliant watch. And it has a lot of brilliant features. But it's just not really my thing. So <laughs> Maybe I'm a bit biased there. This is just because it's really reliable. I think the worst it's ever done is losing one minute a day. This loses one minute like a month. Which is a lot better. But still, this this one's from the 80s. you got to catch your break there. This loses five minutes every single day. <laughs> but I love it. It's brilliant. It's just the thought of someone's had it before you. It's been around for years and it's just still ticking. It's absolutely fascinating. So that's my opinion. The movement in this as well looks really good for its age. Let's show you. I'll open the back of that. I've got to be really careful not to catch the balance wheel. Look at that. Looks a bit slow, especially when you can pair it to that. There, that's going a lot faster. That there, though, is quite slow. Zoom in a bit. You can just kind of see there. A bit slower. Anyway, guys, like, all of these are brilliant. I'd, I'd massively recommend getting a Seiko 5. If you want a brilliant value for money, accurate watch that's mechanical. Any of these two, they're just my personal favourites. If you like them, go get them. <laughs> Not stopping you. Anyway, guys, that was a really fun video. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.